Good morning, Outdoors with Larry and Robin here. Today we're going to take the 50, the MX 5100 here and take the grapple extension on the old ram splitter off. Small grapple on and that wood that we took down in the last video or the one before back behind this Quonson. Uh, we'll go around and get that, put the small grapple on the 5100 and uh, buck that up and bring that up to here and we're going to check the moisture on it but we'll check the um, if it's ready, absolute ready, I may put it in the building but probably would use it up here at the wood stove. So that's the plan. Uh, very crisp 45 degrees 44 degrees here and uh, I've got a lot of lot to do um, I've got all these logs have to be bucked up and split up the stove there I've got ash down in the woods over here ash down here I've got oak over here I've got oak all back in there and some dead ones um, I've got my oak down there on the stand um, to be bucked up to like like back in an older video with living the dream uh, Rick and I did I've got um, that to split up and put into totes double totes like we older video and put them in this container down here so lots going on Maybe we have to put the winch on and bring it up. If it's too steep to take the tractor down. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that this tractor, I mean, that's a, that's a 45 degree drop there. It's amazing how it doesn't look like it on camera. It doesn't look like it on camera. Nope. It's definitely a drop.
selection for day four of great gifts to give. Now, this one may or may not appeal to your wives and girlfriends, but it, it might. Uh, it's the Topsy. Comes this with this little velvety pouch. It's got two selections here. And it shows you, if you push this, there is a little house. You can actually check the moisture of things in your house, like um, your drywall. Maybe you're building a house and want to check the moisture level in your drywall. But you can check things in your house. Now you push this and it goes up here. I just cut this. So we should be legit be able to check it. Okay. Thirty, thirty-one. Check it again. All right, twenty-seven point four. So, it also has the changes colors on your screen. Green means go. Okay to sell. Okay to burn. Yellow means hey, maybe I'll let it season a little bit. And the red is it's high in moisture. It automatically cuts off after 10 minutes, which is good for people like me who leave things laying around. And uh, it's the TS630 moisture meter. Okay, I have it on the high maximum. It's at 16.4. How much? 16.54. 16.54. I yes. do this in here. Alright. You can put it in Celsius or Fahrenheit for temperature. It has two levels, a high and a low, depending upon what kind of wood. It also has three different uh, LED like light settings. This says 15.8. Do this one down here at the end, the one on, on the ground. I like the big setting. You want to do this end? This end down here. It's all 15%. So how about that? I want for me for my bag wood. Yes. But we're going to have to figure out how to get it out of there. I'm going to have to come down that way and grab it. All right. Okay. okay, we're going to see if the Kubota can handle all three. Yeah, yeah very, very much on a hill.
come around the other side of the Quonson hut. It's going to try to get my end of the log. Looks like he's trying to break it, which might have worked. That's good. Very precarious position to be in. I think at this point he's got it.
because of the perfect stick. Notice that I had broken my perfect stick. So he reached out to us and he's gonna send me a new plastic piece. It's more of a rubber so I can't break it. He's also looking into a 16 inch for my four inch saker saw. And I think that would be wonderful for all of us who need it. I hope I have enough fuel to do this. Put the 500i away back on the bobcat on its mount and strapped in good old dependable 500i and that's probably all we're going to do today she's uh, got her bag of wood to work on down there so that's it for this video we'll catch you on the next one toodles everybody